Hey guys, this is how you start the brick boondoggle or the twist boondoggle. And this is just basically adding one more string into a square. Like, if you look at just the pink and the white, it just looks like a square. But you just add another string. Okay, so you'll need three strings and two of them have to be the same length. And then one longer one will have to be like one and a half times longer. This black one is going to be the longer strand in this video. So, take your two shorter strands and then find their centers and then wrap it around your finger like you do with the square stitch. And then, you don't have to do this, but I would say you do. Go to the ends and then pull until they're even. So now they're even. Okay. Now take your other short string, do the exact same thing. Wrap it around your finger, get the ends, pull them until they're even. Okay, so now you have two loops. You have two loops on your fingers that should look like this. Okay, now you take your third strand and you feed it under all of the loops. Whoops. La 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 la. Oopa oopa oopa. Oopa 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 oopa. Okay, now you'll need to put it through until you find a center. Until you find its center, but this is an easy way to do it. Meet both of the strings, the both the ends, whoops, and then just pull up. And then once it reaches the middle, then they're equal. So now it should look something like that. So then take your left string and bring it up. So like on top of the black string that's like in the middle. So like right there. Then bring it over and under and over and under. And then pull it through. Whoops. So it should look like that. Then do the same thing with this string except you're going to go down. So go over and under, sorry, then pull it through and then go over and under or, or through, whatever. Then pull it till it's by the end of the strings. Now you're ready to take it off your finger, but some things that make it easier whenever you're taking off is putting the strings on the side and then pulling a little and then taking it off because then they're already kind of tight. So now it should look somewhat like this. So now you're going to take the strings and pull until you have something like that. And then you have your starting brick stitch. Now you can either do the brick or the twist. Thanks for watching.